Where is my pen? What the heck? Wait, what? Where's my pen for my PC? What the heck? I I'm so lost. What the heck's going on? Uh, mm. That was not enjoyable. Oh. I found it. So it has been a while, hasn't it? And you know, I'm back once more to give or rather gift you a mediocre art video. <laughs> so as we as you can see, we are starting right with the sketch of this art piece, which took me a hot second, like it's like incomplete. This art piece took me I think about three days, although I did have school during that time, so that's my excuse for uh, now. excuse you. And before I jump into commenting on myself and on my art, I'd like to address a few problems or rather thoughts about my channel, which is that I'm kind of over the whole mint theme <gasps> and color in itself. What? Because, you know, and I will not be changing my name due to the fact that I have a history of changing my name like every other day, so that won't be happening. So, um, let's move on to this art piece here in front of our faces. So, hi, it's me editing this video, and I'm sorry, but what? Let's move on to this art piece here in front of our faces. Why? Why did I say it like that? In front of our faces? We? What? In front of our faces. Yeah, no. <sighs> why? Why? Just why? Today, I chose to go in a very Victorian and old era style because I wanted to just have fun with making an older fashioned outfit. I didn't as much bother with more of an extra pose or lighting because it's it has been a while since I've been making more extra art. About the hair, so in the sketch I decided to draw it like downwards and falling down her back, like all open and long, but I did decide to change it later on into more of an updo due to the fact that I did watch a uh, popular show on Netflix called Bridgerton and that's all in like the Victorian era, so... Besides her hair, I gave her this exposed corset with some gold chains and details, and under that like a scrunched up yellow dress, which for me it was a bit too short lengthwise by the legs, and I decided to add like a train, I don't even know if you can call it a train, it's more like a piece of fabric that is just longer so it looks like she's wearing a dress. arrived at the coloring stages um stages more like stage because i say stages because the coloring actually had a few different stages during this whole process because i got used to this new resolution of this canvas because on krita the app or the program i'm using has different settings for how many pixels and how high of a resolution you want the drawing to be. So this is actually the highest and this was the first time I ever did that. So I had to get used to it and the drawing takes a few different shapes before it gets to the final product which you'll see at the end. But it was a lot of fun to just experiment and have fun with this, with the coloring and just find out how I can control the colors, how I can control the shadows and all the tools that I are there for me to use. And I do believe it came out pretty well because, I don't know, I'm just happy with the results and the outcome. I really put a lot of work into this and it's just so fun for me that like I can't be mad of how much time I actually just put into this drawing itself. But now I'm editing this and yeah, this will take me um, a long time 
I just know I will be crying at the end. Because besides already crying due to a certain Netflix show, I will be crying even more. And that will be fun for me. So here's an update. Um, I've been working on this video for about five hours now. And I want to cry, but I'm not letting myself cry or else I will never get finished with this. And I'm done. Yeah, no. Well, actually, I'm not done, but I want to be done. <laughs> But yes, so the yellow thing, this reminds me, the yellow thing uh, I just drew on the legs with a multiplying layer, which just means you can see the layer under or the drawing and the fades of colors under it. I drew that yellow there because I originally wanted to add some stockings or like those <laughs> pants or no, socks, just high socks. and. That didn't look as good as I wanted it to, and I just didn't see an other color than yellow that could fit in there since there's already like red and brown right beside it. And so I got rid of that, which, uh, like, in hindsight, this looks way better without it. And with the skin, this took me a lot of experimenting the skin, because I wanted to add these scars on her shoulders and they looked fine, but it just looked a little too painterly and rough for me. So I switched this up quite a lot during this whole process. And I keep on going back and forth between all layers to fix up little things that annoy me and all that stuff. Now, with the corset, I wanted to add the skull chains, which I really like. But this little like charm, I'm guessing I could say, it just was too difficult for my liking. Like. Just why did I do that to myself? I don't know. Why do I still do this to myself? I also don't know. Did that make any sense? I don't think so. And yeah. And you know, I'm pretty sure that in Victorian eras, <coughs> the exposed corset wouldn't have been that much liked, but I'm not sure. And also the gold chains like on the sides of the corset that should like resemble like the lace that like shoelaces it's similar to shoelaces or just so it can be more tight the corset i don't think it would actually be a fashion statement in the past but i just wanted to add it because in my original character i'm still developing and i've done like four videos about him so so yeah, I wanted to give him this like shoelace kind of thing on his outfit, but it just didn't work out. So I'm adding it on her and it just works for her. I, I really like it and I'm really proud of that. Yes, I'm forgetting what I want to say. That is my life and I'm gonna refer to my phone where I have a small script written for me because I knew this was going to happen. The hands themselves Oh wow, this was a jump. I love the journey we're taking here. The hands themselves were a little big, but I made them smaller. And they were just a bit of a struggle. I think every artist can relate. It's just hard to ha draw hands. Right now it's looking a bit pale and very grey, which I don't know why I had to make the choice. But I guess I made it and now I'm blending. Good thing. Always blend because, well, it depends on your art style, but I just like it to be blended. And the face, I did switch it up quite a bit, like the eyes and just the general form. I don't think I have it on camera, I think I did it off camera at like 12pm. Or one in the morning, I'm not quite sure, but what I'm trying to say is that it was really late. It was probably between that time, but 
Oh, it's just a struggle. And now I'm adding back some color, which I appreciate. Good job, you did something right for once. <laughs> myself. I'm talking to myself. If that was not obvious. Wow, I'm so lost. Please help. No, I'm Send serious. Help, please. I need help. Yes, so I think you can see the difference in resolution in the drawing right here. And I, I, I'm just happy with how much detail I can put into it now. Of course, this one doesn't have as much, but it's just an ex experiment and I'm just having fun, so that's that. So here I go with changing the eyes, I did flip the screen like once or twice and I just wanted to make them very symmetrical, I'm not, not symmetrical, just that they look good within the drawing and I made them a little thinner because I wanted to give my character or this character a bit of a different face shape and different eye shape because I tend to do the same shapes of face and just in general to all of my characters and give them like all the same pose, all the same body and I, I just need to switch things up and <laughs> right now it looks a bit like she's, I don't know, trying to look into the sun but failing at it horribly wow horrible this is okay i i should study english for sure this this is my calling english is just my calling the lashes are black right now but i do believe i add some green into him just to accentuate her eyes and i gave her this like crystal makeup which i am quite sure that did not exist in the past it's a very modern thing but i really like to this i just like the makeup in general because it's very simple and subtle and you can't actually see it if you zoom completely out like so you can see the whole drawing if you zoom out you can't see them but it's just nice to know that i put them there because it's really fun so here's the updo i was talking about this this i wanted this bun to be like a ton of roses out of her hair and i did think do think this came out pretty good but it just i have to practice drawing hair it's still a big struggle for me and I, I really have to practice on that and try to improve and you know practice makes perfect i know you're probably tired of hearing that like every single day but it's just it, it's true like i didn't come to this point without any practice you can see my progress on my channel like completely from the first art video I posted until now, I've improved a lot. And I also think part of that is the art community and just all those artists out there giving tutorials and putting out videos, even if they weren't meant to help, they still help. And it's just cool that nowadays, for example, I have this platform where I can learn from so easily. Because in the past, they didn't have youtube to learn from we have so many platforms we can learn from we have also now f very popular apps like tiktok and instagram or insta reels <coughs> and i think i don't know i'm rambling but i just find it really amazing that we have that possibility now jumping back to this drawing I'm making the background right now, or I'm drawing the background, and I wanted it to be leaves, and I wanted to add a window in the back with like the evening sun shining through, but that wouldn't make sense with the lighting, so I just let that alone, and I abandoned the idea. Instead, I added this little flower power, not flower power, 
what am I talking about? I added these leaves, these jungle leaves, and just this green atmosphere around her since she did have green eyes, or she still has green eyes. And that's kind of all of it. I really hope you enjoyed this mediocre art video, and I'll see you next time. Bye!